please rise and honor the bride. Dearly beloved, honored guests and friends, we're invited here today because of the strength of love and the promises kept to share with Alexis, Lexi, and Jeremiah in a very important moment in their lives as they open a new chapter filled with support, laughter, loyalty, friendship, and love. This is a day when two hearts are made one when two halves become a whole, when two people have the privilege of becoming a husband and a wife, and the little one has the privilege of gaining support and love and compassion as two best friends merge in our lives forever. Alexis, Jeremiah, the commitment you are about to agree to represent a promise you make to honor the love and friendship you have already grown, to trust the goals and commitments you share to respect one another as individuals, whether you're together or apart, and to spend the rest of your lives together, chasing each other's dreams, chasing each other around the kitchen, whatever two things you do. <coughs> this union allows two separate souls to share all their desires, dreams, and memories, their joys and sorrows, with no fear of judgment, knowing that their love for each other will help guide them through all the uncertainties of life. Lots of distractions out there, lots of noise out there. I'll give you all the clip notes on how to get past it, okay? Hang in there. What we're about to do is symbolic of many things. The wedding ceremony is intentionally consistent of a number of symbols that are designed to remind you of the pledge you make to always turn toward each other, not away. To always work through your struggles rather than run from them. To always pause, breathe, remain centered in your mutual respect for each other anytime you may lose sight of your love. Expressing these vows today is evidence of the trust and faith you have in the constancy of your friendship and the confidence in the direction your lives will take. Inviting your loved ones to celebrate with you today signifies a commitment to your relationship and my favorite thing, a shared conviction that you are better together than you are apart. The wedding ring itself, first major symbol of the ceremony, serves as a reminder of the wholeness of the love you share, the unending, undying nature of the devotion you have between you and the eternal bond that we are creating right now. You'll take them off sometimes out of necessity. It's okay. Put them back on. You're away from each other. You're in different cities. Reference them. Remember what we did today, the magic of today, how you feel. And that will remind you of everything that you committed to. It's a pretty powerful symbol. Can we get some rings? Okay, Jeremiah, you first, please take Alexis's ring, and as you place this ring on her finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I gave you my promise to honor you, protect you, and adore you for the rest of forever. You should have looked at her when you said that, but it is fine. <laughs> Place this ring on Jeremiah's finger. Please repeat after me. Same thing, just a little bit different vowel, okay? With this ring, 
I gave you my promise to respect you, inspire you, and support you for the rest of forever and ever and ever. Good, good, good. And it's okay. It's probably really appropriate to cry on your wedding day, actually. Now it's really going to come down. I understand you prepared some things for each other. Who's going to go first? Okay. Alexis, as we stand before our friends and our family, I want this to create true evidence that with hope, patience, and the belief in real love, that it will always find its way. It may not come right away, and it may take its time, but if you truly believe, this is evidence that it will always find its way to where it belongs. When I first met you, I knew that you were going to be somebody very important and very special in my life. I know it sounds cliche, but you are the pr true proof that there is a thing called love is personal. Because of you, I held on to this belief to be able to have this moment with you through the doubt and through people telling me that I should settle and that it's not worth it. This is proof that because of that part that you've taken of my heart, that now you've bloomed into an incredible and unbreakable love that it is true and that patience and real love will always find its way. As we stand here today, I will always honor, obey, and make sure that there's never a doubt in your heart that your dreams and that your love is always supported in every ounce and every breath that I take will be devoted to you and our beautiful family for the rest of my life I cannot tell you how honored and blessed I feel to be able to share this one with the woman of amazing history. Okay. Okay, you're good? Okay. <laughs> well said. And well done. Okay, remember that stuff. What's going to happen after this ceremony is that you, you fall into a routine. The life is that way. And it's really good, actually. The problem is you might you might forget some of this stuff. How you feel right now is real. How you feel toward each other's so this magic is real. You just have to hang on to it. Figure out how to follow it and access it whenever you can. Because life gets tricky. I'll talk about that in a second. Well said. Not everybody finds their soulmate. You take very good care of that. As you go forward. Please remember, honesty, teamwork, hard work, compassion, and an amazing sense of humor. Those are the pillars of a happy and enduring home. Love each other as you are, continue to grow together, challenge each other, push each other, support each other. And as time goes on, always return to the foundation of the home which your love has long since been built in order to remain true to the commitment you made today ensure you have an amazing life together. 
as you continue to grow, just know life is going to fill itself with distractions. It does it for everybody. Please remember to enjoy the adventure. Always find reasons for that. Find reasons to celebrate. Continue to look for shared joys. Nurture those shared joys, both simple and complex, and that will ensure you have an amazing, I don't know how much time you got, 60 years together? 50? 70? 70. That's a long time. It's a long time to spend a magical existence together. All that said, here's your skeleton key, okay? When hard times, hard times come, please remember, there's not very many things that saying I love you cannot solve. When you want to punch him in the face, you got to grab him instead. When you want to run away from her, because it gets really scary, you got to grab her instead. And you got to say, I love you. you got to remind each other how important it is. How important you are to each other. Okay? There's not very many things in swallowing your pride and being wrong, even when you know you're right. You just got to swallow your pride sometimes, and you just fault it. It goes away forever, and never, that is never brought up. The relationship is too important. Okay. For everything else, remember the magic of today. Remember being surrounded by all these people. Remember the support you feel and the electricity here. Okay? There's some real redeeming value to it. Alright. Ready for the real deal? Good. Here we go. Alexis, do you take this man? Do you take this good, good man, Jeremiah, to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have him to hold for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, in good times and in bad, committing yourself to only him for now and forever? Yes. She said forever and ever. Okay, Jeremiah, do you take this woman? Do you take this good, good woman, Alexis, to be your lawfully wed wife? To have him to hold for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, in good times and in bad, committing yourself to only her, for now and forever. I do for everything. Good. Congratulations, you two. Please take very, very good care of each other. By the authority vested in me by the state of Utah, and please pronounce your husband and wife, Jeremiah, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Congratulations.